Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's What's Happening at Trinity and Taking Faith Home. I'm Pastor Scott, one of the pastors at Trinity Lutheran Church. It's my pleasure to be with you today. Some things going on this week as we start a new year. Lots of new things are going to be starting up and continuing on from last year. Um, Monday, the Rachel Circle meets at 1 o'clock p.m. On Tuesday, the Esther Circle meets at 12.30 and the Rebecca Circle meets at 7 p.m. So the Circle is meeting on Monday and Tuesday. This coming Wednesday, we're going to resume our Wednesday evening programming, which means dinner at 5.30, worship led by our youth at 6.45, and then our confirmation, high school, and adult classes from 7 to 8. So that will be resuming this coming Wednesday. Also, this Wednesday and Thursday at 10 a.m., we need to take down the Christmas decorations. We need to take stuff down, pack it, and then put it back in the storeroom. So if you can help between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Wednesday or Thursday, that would be much appreciated. A lot of help is needed for that. On Thursday evening is the Dementia Caregivers Support Group meeting at 7 o'clock p.m. And then on Friday is the Just Club at 6.30 in Hanbury Hall. This coming Sunday, January 15th, is a special worship opportunity. There's a special Martin Luther King worship being put on by our Synod, Southeastern Synod. That's at the Lutheran Church of the Redeemer in Atlanta at 4 o'clock p.m. I know some of us are planning to go to that. We might be carpooling, so watch maybe for more information on that throughout the week. And also, just wanted to, again, remind you of some ministry opportunities, some ministry needs that we have. And if this is something you could do or something you'd like to know more about, please talk to me, okay? Please check with me. One is a human resources team. Uh, we're in the process of trying to put together a human resources team to make sure that our staff and our church are supported um, appropriately. We live in a world today, there's a lot of complexity around, around employees and staff and all that goes with that. And so we want to make sure that we're supporting our staff as best as possible. Also, we need some folks to pull the attendance sheets out of the attendance booklets after the 11 o'clock service. You can do it after the service, or you come back on Monday, Sunday afternoon and do it. doesn't matter. We need some people to pull those sheets and take them into the office. Then, an additional opportunity is that we need to also then input the names into our system of people who attended worship, into our ACS system. And that's something that will probably be about once a month, maybe for an hour or so, um, you know, inputting names into the system. So two different things, pulling the attendance sheets and then inputting them into our system. And finally, changing the sign out front, our outdoor, outdoor sign out front of the church building by Killian Hill. I need some help with changing that. Um, we would like to do that, you know, more often. We'd like to put more things up there, but it just um, takes time and people to be able to do this. So if you could help with that, that would be appreciated as well. So if any of those are of interest to you, um, give me a call, let me know, and uh, we'll talk further about those. Speaking of serving, have you ever felt in your service to the church or charity work or just in trying to be a good person and helping others that it doesn't seem to go anywhere? or it doesn't seem to make much of a difference, or it doesn't seem to have much significance. Have you ever felt that way before? I know sometimes I've felt that way. Get home at the end of the day and I just sort of look back and ask myself, what good did this do today? You know, what good did it do? I think it's common, I think it's natural. I think it almost should be expected that in living out our faith and serving our Lord and trying to be a light to the world that we've been talking a lot about, that can be frustrating. It can be disillusioning. And sometimes you probably want to feel like maybe you just want to give up. Well, the text that we have for today speaks to that. This text was told to a prophet and a nation that was struggling and they were wondering if they were ever going to get anywhere. They were in exile, things looked bleak, and they wondered if they were ever going to get anywhere. Listen to what God says. God says, 
Is it too light a thing that you should be my servant? Let me say that again. Is it too light a thing that you should be my servant? To raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Is it too light a thing that you should be my servant? Sometimes I'm reminded that I'm in sales, not management. Whereas I'd rather like to be in management, not sales. But our calling is to be in sales, to be servants, to share, to be a light, to do good. The results are not necessarily in our control. What happens with that is not necessarily in our control. The Apostle Paul talked about how, you know, in some respects, he was the one that planted the seed in some people, and it wasn't until much later someone else came along and harvested that seed. That someone plants the seed, someone grows the seed, and then someone harvests. We all like to be the harvesters. We all like to see the outcome of our efforts. We all like to see the significance of what we're doing, the results of our efforts. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately, in the kingdom of God. We are called to do good without knowing if there will even be any good end result or what that end result will be. That's up to God. God takes care of that. And sometimes we might be the ones that, that experience the end result, the goodness of someone else's efforts. I know serving in churches, many times I have, I have reaped the benefits of what pastors did before me. I find that at Trinity a lot. The pastors before me did a lot of really wonderful things that now I'm reaping the benefits of. And I'm sure there were times where they probably wondered if their efforts were in vain. Folks, it is an honor to serve our Lord. It's an honor to get to serve our Lord. It's an honor to be called by God to be a light to the world. We won't always know what those results will be. We won't know if anything will happen. But when we remember, when we keep in perspective, that we've been saved by God's grace, that God has done so much for us, um, that no matter of our own, that God continues to bestow blessing upon us, even though we don't necessarily deserve it, then we can remember it is not too light a thing to be God's servant. It is not too light a thing to be a light to the world. Let us pray. Gracious and heavenly God, we give you thanks that you call us to be your servants. Dear Lord, help us not to get too much into the results but to remember that when we do something in your name, somewhere, somehow, you will bring goodness and fruitfulness out of that, even if we don't get to see it or experience it. Help us to be faithful to our calling. Help us to be a light to the world. Help us to reflect the great light that you send to us in Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, folks, have a great week. Hope to see you soon.